Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this recycle symbol. First open a new document, then go to view and make sure the smart guides are selected. Then press the Ctrl and R buttons on your keyboard to show the ruler. Change the fill to none, leave the stroke black and select the polygon tool. It is hidden under the rectangle tool. First we will create these guides to help us with our drawing. Single click on the artboard, set the sides to 3 and the radius to 220. Then go to Object, Path and select Offset Path. Change the offset to 160 and click OK. Next single click on this guide right above the triangle then move down and while holding down the shift key click below the triangle to draw a straight line. Now select everything, press the letter R for the rotate tool and press enter. Type 120 for the angle and click OK. And let's draw another straight line like we did before. Rotate everything by 120 degrees again and draw one more straight line. Using the direct selection tool select all three lines then go to object, path, offset path and set the offset to 10. And we need three more lines across the corners. First click on the ruler, hold and drag it down to about right here. Now switch to the pen tool Single click on the guide and while holding down the shift key draw a straight line. With the line still selected press the letter R for the rotate tool and while holding down the ALT key click in the center to set the rotation point. Leave 120 for the angle and click copy. Now press the CTRL and D keys on your keyboard to repeat the last step. Finally we are ready to create guides. Select everything, then go to view, guides and choose make guides. With all the guides in place we are ready to create the symbol. First let's lock this layer and create a new layer. Swap the fill and the stroke and zoom in on this corner. Now switch to the rectangle tool Click on this intersection, hold and drag to make a rectangle that will fit between these two parallel lines. And let's rotate it around the center point of the triangle and make two more copies. With the rectangle still selected press the letter R for the rotate tool and while holding down the ALT key click in the center to set the rotation point. Leave 120 for the angle, click copy and press the CTRL and D keys on your keyboard to make one more copy. Next we will create a triangle. Select the polygon tool and single click on the artboard. Set the sides to 3 and the radius to 180. Now let's rotate it by 90 degrees. Then select the transform panel, change the width value to 90 pixels and move it down to line up with the center guide. Now using the left arrow key move it left until it touches the first blue guideline. Next switch to the ellipse tool and change the fill to a different color. Now click on the center guide and draw a circle that is the same height as the rectangle. Let's duplicate this circle and place it directly on top of the above rectangle making sure that the top of the circle touches the top guideline. And let's make one more copy and place it on the opposite side. Next using the direct selection tool select the left anchor point of this circle and press the delete key on your keyboard. Then select the right anchor point of the other circle and delete it as well. 
In the next few steps we will create this shape by joining the two half circles together. Select both top anchor points and then press the Ctrl and J buttons on your keyboard to join them together. And do the same with the bottom anchor points. Next select the new shape, change its color and we will make two extra copies. Using the Rotate tool click in the center, leave the angle as it is and click Copy. Now press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard to make one more copy. Next move the yellow circle and place it right here. Make sure it fits right between the guidelines. With the circle still selected, right click with your mouse, choose Arrange and bring to front. Next select the bottom rectangle and move it over here. And now we are ready to create our final shape. First select all these shapes and then go to the Shape Builder tool. Holding down the Alt key click on the parts that needs to be deleted from the shape. Then release the Alt key and click and drag to connect the other parts to form an arrow. If you like you can change the fill to a different color. Select another color and let's connect all the remaining shapes to form the end of an arrow. Now zoom out and delete all the other shapes. We won't need them anymore. Let's go back to this arrow and check the edges. You can see there is a little jagged edge over here. To fix it select everything, go back to the Shape Builder tool and either add a missing piece to the shape or delete it from the shape. Let's check the other edges and do the same if needed. Finally using the Delete Anchor Point tool Delete all the unwanted anchor points to get a clean look. Next select everything and let's make two more copies. Using the Rotate tool click in the center, leave the angle as it is, click Copy and press the Ctrl and D keys to make one more copy. Finally open the Layers panel, turn off the visibility of layer 1 Select everything, change the fill to black, add a white stroke and change its weight to 5 points. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.